Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Aileen and here we talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the family. So today, it's another haul. It's another haul. Don't judge me, but let's get to it. But before we go, comment, like, subscribe. Let's go. So first I placed an order with Colt Beauty. Kind of like how the box opened up. And this does come from the UK. So I was kind of nervous on the condition that everything is going to come in. And right on top is the Magic Night Cream sample. A really nice Vive makeup bag. And my Vive order. So let's see what I got. I will say one of the items did come damaged and they did reimburse me because they're not gonna ship just one item from the UK. So they just refunded me my money. So first I picked up a lip liner, a lip definer. And this one is in the shade Velvet Sands. Typical Aileen's shade, you'll see. Very nice, ooh, that's creamy, that's pretty. Like a nude, a little bit browner than a nude, but it's pretty. And then I picked up three blushes. I don't even like blush like that to pick up three, but I don't know what happened this day. So here's the packaging. So it does come with a little plastic to protect the Vive. And it has a mirror. And this is one of the shades. And this is in the shade Cherub. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Next is another blush. And this one is in the shade Sunset Blush. She looks like so. Very pretty. And here it is swatched. That is a really pretty shade. I really like that. I don't have a blush in that shade. Nope. I like it. I'm sorry. Sunset Blush is the name of the blush line. The shade name is Piazza. So the next shade is Pesca and it's the third blush and it is a peachy blush. So I see what I did. I picked up a pink, a nude and a peach. Very pretty. One of each. There's Pesca. That's like a nice peachy salmon color. And this peachy shade has like a little bit of shimmer. Piazza looks, they all look really nice, but I feel like Pesca, the peach shade, has more of a little bit of shimmer than the other shades. Next, I picked up a lipstick and this one is in the shade Nine Tees. Look at the packaging, it's so pretty. Kind of reminds me of a Tom Ford lipstick, like their old, Tom Ford's old packaging. And I hope this lip shade goes with this. I think that'll go, goes with the, that's the lipstick and that's the liner. And it is magnetic and not easy to open. So that's nice. Like not easy to open if it were in your purse, but you know, easy for you to open. So this is the highlighter and the highlighter did come damaged. So I'm going to try, since they're not gonna ship another one, I'm gonna try to repress it. I'm not sure, I don't wanna lean it over cause then everything's gonna fall out. But that is the, the, the highlighter there. 
but I will swatch it for you. It's a very nice nude, like with a shit, like a pearl nude. It's so pretty. It's very creamy, like to where it almost feels wet. It's very nice. So I will try to compact that back in. It's not gonna have the pretty detail of the Vive, but it's okay if we can use her. And lastly, I picked up the eyeshadow palette. So this collection, I know Jennifer from All Feisty really loves it. And I was like, I gotta give it a try. Especially that all these shades are up my alley. I know it's more of a fall look, but you can spring this up and you could do spring and summer with this. Like you could do a bronzy look. Like I, I'm very excited to give this a try. And I'll have a dedicated video to all the Vive products I picked up and then I'll swatch the palette then. So let's move on to Chanel. Macy's is currently having a sale and Chanel is included, but I believe the Chanel is only included in, in store and not online. And it's 15% off. So if you're interested, my essay at Macy's at the Chanel counter, she will take your order and have it shipped to you. So I'll have her information in the description box. Her name is Laura. She's amazing. Tell her I sent you. I've given her information to a couple content creators and they've really enjoyed working with her and are very happy with her service. And I'm sure you will too, if you're interested. And there's, this is not an affiliate in anything. It's just, it's just a hookup. So at Chanel Macy's, I picked up the La Beige's foundation. I know it's glowy. But when I tell you I saw Vicky J use this and I know she's like combo and she's oily in the T-zone. Oh, she Her skin looked flawless. She looked beautiful. And I was like, I got to try it. So it looks like so. And I'm in the shade B40 and it does have a pump. And I will be giving this a try. And then I picked up a Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme Lipstick, and this one's in the shade 102 Modern. I just came across the shade and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. However, I came across another shade and, I'm, and when I received it, I'm like, oh, I wonder if both shades look the same. But that, it just looks lovely. It feels lovely the pigment on that and the velvet lipsticks tend to have more longevity which is what i look for in a lipstick next is a rouge allure velvet it's not the extreme and this is in the shade 68 emotive and i swear i think they look so much alike they really do they do I got a type. Look, they look identical to me. I mean, this one's a tad lighter, a tad, but not much. I should have done better. But at least, you know, I love that shade. <laughs> Next, I picked up a Stilo waterproof eyeliner. And this one's in the shade 946 Intense Teal. So the reason I got this shade is because I was like, oh, that would be the perfect shade for the road movie quad. So pretty. Here it is right here. It's like in, exactly like it's described, intense teal. It's beautiful. Next, I picked up a Stylo Ombre contour shadow liners and this one's in electric brown oh this feels nice this glides like no pressure needed i saw susanna torres use this on a look 
And immediately I thought to myself, oh wow, like this would be so pretty to have as a liner, like in the outer V going into the crease with a Chantecaille luminescent eyeshade all over the lid. And I was just like, okay, I gotta have it. I don't got anything, but I wanted it. Next is another waterproof eyeliner. And this was in the shade 932 Matte Taupe. And I love when they have the shades there. And they do come with the sharpener built into the pencil, just in case you weren't aware. And I will swatch this one over here. And it's like a muted brown liner, but it's so pretty. Cause you know, sometimes you want a brown liner, but you don't want it too intense. That's a really pretty shade. Very nice. Next, I picked up two blushes and these are in the old formula. There's more in there. So, and I feel like both of these blushes look the same too. I'm hoping they don't swatch the same, but they didn't look the same online, but they do in person. I'm just saying. So this one is in love. And it is like a peachy, like a peachy pink. If you can see that there, that's pretty. And lastly, for my Macy's, I picked up the blush in the shade Alizane. Maybe they don't look the same. I'm not sure. But we're about to swatch and see. Well, Alizane definitely has a shimmer that In Love does not have. And it feels creamier, softer, not as powdery as In Love. But Alizane has more pink to it than In Love. In Love is more peach, but it does have a sh slight shimmer where In Love does not. In Love is matte. And I'm not sure if the camera will pick up that shimmer, but they're both beautiful. And if I didn't mention, if you're interested in this look, it is the last nailed it look and I will link the video up here if you want to check it out. So whatever Macy's didn't have that I wanted, I went ahead and placed an online Chanel order. This packaging, you guys, it's just stunning every time, every single time. And then comes with the tissue. Yeah, here she is. Let's take a look. I'm so excited. So I picked up the quad road movie. So pretty. So, 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 so pretty. And here it is. The blues. This blue and this like teal. This is why I bought the intense teal liner. This one right here because of this quad. And if you want a daytime look, you can use the matte taupe liner as well. This is just stunning. I wanted to try it. Jennifer from All Feisty sent me her so I could try it and ensure that I liked it. And as soon as I swatched them, I was like, whoa. And I fell in love with them. So I purchased the quad. I also purchased one of the new Cocoa Blooms, and this is in the shade 118 Radiant. And here's the packaging. I think I have a type. What do you say? <laughs> oh, she's a little darker than the other ones. Okay, it's pretty though. It's pretty, it went on so nicely. I'm excited. And lastly, I picked up a blush in the new formula, and this is the Brun Rouge. I believe this is the new, 
because of the packaging. So let's give her a swatch and see if we can, if I can tell a difference. Immediately I can tell there's less kick up in the pan like when you swatch. I can tell that immediately. It's not as soft as like the Alizane was. Definitely not as pigmented or creamy. Like it swatches more powdery than it did with the other two on the first swatch, but the second swatch, piling it up, feels just as nice. So this is Brun Rouge in the new formula. So I'll have to play with them and get back to you guys. And last, the most exciting for me, because I only paid $25.50, <laughs> is this large box of Surratt. So Surat had a giveaway on their Instagram and I just entered. Somebody tagged me on it. I was like, okay. And I entered. And when I tell you, I couldn't stop screaming when they DM me that I won. Like I, I lost my mind. And what I won was a $500 gift card to purchase on their site. So I got a lot and ended up paying. So the out of pocket was for me was $20.50. And then because I was under $100, a $5 of shipping fee, $25.50. Like, poof, I was mind blown. And they had a 25% off at the time. It was just, I was so excited. I can't thank them enough. Like, I, this was so sweet. I never, ever have won <laughs> such a big giveaway. And I was just super stoked and excited okay so let's see what I got <laughs> so I picked up the lash curler I've heard great things about this all feisty raves about it <laughs> she's like oh you're gonna love it it's so substantial it really is so here it is very nice and it does come with a refill of the rubber so I'm excited for that. And I'm going to have to have like a dedicated video for like Vive, the new Chanel, and Surat. Next, I picked up an inner light baton. So this is just like a baton pencil shadow that you can. It also has like a liner on one end. But I really liked the baton for an inner highlight and it's like the perfect shade for you to go boop all done with my inner highlight perfect shape perfect shade next i picked up the expression night brow pencil and we're in the shade brunette. So it does come like so. It has a spoolie on one end and then you get your pigment and pop it in here. And it is super fine. And I've been on the hunt for a new brow pencil. Ooh. I like how fine the fine lines you get with it. Those that's really pretty. Like how you can get perfect hair like strokes. And it's not too waxy and it's not too dry. Next, I picked out two brushes. The first one is the classic shadow brush in petite. And it looks like so. It's like flat. They're really soft. And I picked up another brush and this one is the Smoky Eye Brush. Oh, that's nice. 
so it's like a tapered like it's angled so you see the hairs here are shorter and they get longer but on this side it starts further up but that's really pretty but that's really nice Ooh, very soft i'm excited next i picked up the beyond beige palette i've been wanting this it sells out quickly it sells out everywhere i was so excited to be able to get it and i mean the syrah packaging with like the teal to purple hologram like oh, so pretty and here is beyond beige pretty everyday palette you can amp it up with that dark brown shade i just love it next i picked out the smoky eye baton and this is in flume bron i don't remember what shade it is and this is like a dark brown and this is the liner side So it has the same baton as the inner corner. Oh, it's a nice brown. Oh, I really like that. I am so excited to play with these. Look, there it is. Ooh, wee. I'm so excited. Yeah, y'all don't want me singing. So next I picked up a palette, but this particular palette does not come put together for you. So this is like the face palette and this is the palette that the shades go in. So I'm not gonna put them together on camera, but I will show you the shades. So this, it was the Cosmos palette. So this is the shade Cosmos. And it's like an icy pink. And I'm not sure if the camera will pick up the pink shift of that. So pretty, I'm so excited to play with these. I really, really enjoyed the Surat Supernova palette. If you didn't catch that look, I'll link it up here. <sighs> wow, beautiful. Next is the shade Celestial. And they do come in these little pans and you pull these out and on the bottom there's a sticker and you peel this off and they stick onto the palette. So Celestial is like an icy color but this one has like a gold yellow shift. And again, I don't think the camera will pick that up, but I will try to get some good pictures and do it some justice on Instagram, or I'll just pop a picture of the palette up here. Next is the shade Star, which is like a champagne. Oh, so pretty, so, so pretty. Like a champagne shimmer shade i'm in love with them and lastly is the shade chocolate noir which is like a darker brown but this does look like it has a shimmer in it but i'm not gonna swatch them just yet so those are the shadows and then i picked up this is like a pod type so it comes like so and you can twist this to the side and then twist the top off and you have your matte lilac shade and your shimmer shade they also have this in green which looks so lovely but because of spring i picked up purple we're gonna try to do purple so i'm excited for that it's like i feel like it's gonna be an easy let's go i picked up the shade Duchess. This is a blush. It looks like a soft peach. And that did this, these do stick to the palette as well. I will put the palettes together. But one of them's gonna have to hang out on their own. And this is like a soft nude blush. And this is in the shade Chaleur. So pretty. 
And again, I will have a dedicated video. This is another blush and this is in Cote de Genie. I would probably use this as a highlight. So it's like a soft peach with a pearlescent to it and it looks like a, has a highlighter shift to it. I definitely don't like too much shimmer on my cheeks. So I'd probably definitely use it as a highlighter. And the last blush is La Vienne Rose, which is like a burnt soft rose shade. Very pretty. So I'm excited. I will definitely have dedicated videos to each one of these, the Vive, the Chanel, the Surat, and then we'll just keep doing videos and playing with it to see what I like and to see how I feel about the products. So thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye.